Hello everyone and welcome to Lounging with Lenny. My name is Lenny. Today I will show you how to roast the duck, so make sure to watch the video to the end and enjoy it. A lot of people when they go to a store and they pass by a duck, they afraid to purchase it because they ask themselves what should I cook with it, how should I cook and what goes well with it. So today I will show you how to make it very delicious, crispy outside and tender inside duck and I will serve it with a quick and easy wild rice pilaf. Take a ginger, don't even bother yourself to peel it but make sure to wash it and slice it into rough circles. Take 6 garlic cloves and smash them with a knife. Please subscribe to my channel, press the bell, press notify me to get notified about my new videos. Take novel orange, cut it in half and slice it into 4 segments. The most important thing that you must to do is to uncover the duck, pet dry it with a towel and put it in the fridge for 2 days. After 2 days remove the duck from the fridge and let's start working on it. Remove the duck from the fridge and pet dry it with a paper towel. Gently slice the skin, but make sure not to cut the meat. Season it with some salt. and generously rub it with the Chinese 5 spice. Make sure to rub the whole duck even under the wings, even under the wings. This Chinese 5 spice will take the taste of the duck to the next level. Take ginger, garlic and orange and put everything inside of the duck. Take a sheet pan with a rack and place your duck on top of it. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot. Make sure to add two star anise inside. Place the duck into preheated 320 degrees Fahrenheit oven for an hour and a half. Now let's work on a sauce. Everybody knows that roasted duck goes great with a hoisin sauce, but I will serve my duck with my version of a sauce. It's gonna be tangy. Take another half of an orange, zest it and chop the zest fine. Juice it. Take 
Take two garlic cloves and puree them. Take half an inch of ginger and puree it as well. Take a saucepan and add some neutral oil, such as canola. Add garlic ginger paste, saute it, add one fourth of a cup of Chinese rice wine and reduce about 70% of it, add orange juice, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of hoisin sauce, 1 tablespoon of honey Add orange zest and cook the sauce until it becomes slightly thick Now let's prep for wild rice pilaf Take half an onion and dice it small Take one celery stalk and dice it small as well. Take a half of a small carrot and dice it small as well. Take a pot and add some vegetable oil. Saute onion, carrots and celery for about 4 minutes. Season it with salt and pepper and add 2 cups of wild rice, but before you add it, make sure to wash it well. Toast the rice for about 2 minutes and pour 2.5 cups of chicken stock. Bring it to a boil and cook it on high for about 5 minutes. Add 5 ounces of dried cherries, reduce the heat to low, cover with the lid and let it cook for 15 minutes until all the liquid is absorbed by rice. The rice will come out fluffy and full of flavors. One and a half hour passed, remove the duck from the oven.
pour the duck fat into the container. Duck fat is like a gold in a kitchen and you can substitute oil with it. Take orange marmalade and glaze both sides of the duck. Again, you need to brush it well so every part of the duck gets some. Return it back to the oven for 30 minutes. The rice pilaf is done, just take a look how beautiful it came out. Remove the duck from the oven and glaze it once again. And place it back into the oven for another 30 minutes. This is the last 30 minutes that the duck will be roasting in the oven. 30 minutes passed and the duck is ready. Remove orange, garlic and ginger from the duck. And rest the duck for about 20 minutes. And just take a look how beautiful the duck came out. Crispy skin and gorgeous color. And now let's cut the duck. You will get two breasts, two wings, two legs and two thighs. And now it's time to serve it. In the center of the plate, with an ice cream scoop, put wild rice pilaf, press it down a little and put the duck. Pour some sauce over it. and decorate it with some scallion. 